Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Destiny video. And in this video, I want to show you guys the brand new emotes. The February update has just dropped. They've also released the patch notes for it, which I'll include in the description box down below for those of you guys that want to check or want to sort of see what's changed. But Crimson Days is now officially live. The Crimson Doubles playlist is in the Crucible Director. And if you load into the tower, this is what you'll see. Of course, if you go to Tess Everest, you can grab the new emotes. And if you go to Lord Shax, he is your main point of contact. For all the Crimson Days events, you want to go there to grab the bounties and all the good stuff, but I'll cover that in a separate video because I'm going to go and jump into some Crimson Doubles matches, run through, try and get some good loot and show you guys how you get the rest of the stuff you need, so the shader, the ghosts and all that good stuff. But for the time being, let's take a look at the brand new emote. So the first one is the one that you guys have sort of seen a screenshot of and it's called Strange Dance. This is of course Drake's Hotline Bling Dance, but of course it's not called that for licensing reasons, but this one will of course set you back 500 silver. Moving on from there, you then have the Awkward Dance, which I have been told is the Napoleon Dynamite Dance. Forgive me for not actually knowing that myself, but either way, that is supposedly what this one is. And that again will set you back 500 silver. On top of that, you have the Secret Greeting, which is a bit of a weird handshake. This is also another one of the expensive ones that would cost you 500 silver. And this is also a team emote. Now, these ones, personally, I've never been a massive fan of because... Destiny doesn't have some sort of time delay system on emotes, meaning you have to line them up yourself, and invariably it doesn't really work given the chat delay and whatnot, so they end up looking a little bit worse than they actually should. But either way, that's your team emote. It's kind of a weird greeting. And on top of that, you also have another one, which is actually pretty cool. This one will definitely be easier to line up, and this is, of course, the fist bump. This is clearly if you've done something good, and you want to sort of be like, congratulations with your friend, or like, cool, or whatever... You can do a fist bump but again it's a team emote so unless one of your friends is buying it it's not really going to sort of do itself justice if you're just doing it on your own however on top of that there is one of these slightly cheaper emotes the kind of group two one and that is charmed given that this is a valentine's day event this is a very applicable emote and that is pretty much it that was just a super quick look at some of the emotes of course as is always the way with these events make sure you do pick them up during the event if you want to keep them because these will of course be timed emotes and they'll likely sort of come and go but these are available right now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going to pick any of these up or if you have already picked them up and let me know which one is your favourite. And aside from that, make sure you stay tuned because I'll have another Crimson Days video coming up a little bit later on this evening talking about some of the other events and some of the other rewards. So for the time being, thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.